Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Today we are going to do a little bit of down downtime work today. Primarily, we are going to go and visit some of our various farms and workshops and stuff, and we're going to get our various colonies upgraded and running better now that we have economic connections between all of them. So it looks to me like most of our uh, base, most of them are short either on beds or on defense. So we're going to see what we can do to uh, improve that situation here a little, and generally get all of our economic situations back up to a better situation, and maybe get some of these people who are sitting around bored to work. Hmm. Things are running just a little sluggish right now, though. I think... Okay. Also, we're going to see if we can get a few of these artilleries deployed for our use in the future. But the important thing right now is... There's a miscellaneous item... Rings to gather nearby settlers. That's what we need right there. So we need to bring our settlers up here, and we need to try and figure out how to assign everybody. Yeah, we'll just put a, a nice little summoning summoning system right here. See, I need to figure out how to identify people who are already assigned to a job. See, yeah, right now I can't tell what he's doing, if anything. And that is something I would really like to know, because I need to know who hasn't been assigned to something. So I also need to relocate my uh, sweatshop here. Our salvaging stations and stuff. You see, the only way you can tell... Yeah, you see, you can tell he's assigned because it's highlighting the thing he's assigned to, but I want to know what he's assigned to. You know, there might be a mod for that. I should probably actually look at the mods. Yeah. Well, for now, let's focus on getting our defenses up and running. Slightly better. interesting how these guys... Oh, there we are. Those are the turrets that produce real defense. But since we don't have those... Let's just get uh, one up on the roof here. So... The, um... The system thinks, determines defense, I think it's the sum of food and water. So right now, the amount of defense we have is less than food and water combined. So we're going to be seeing hits. Which honestly just means we need to further upgrade. We can build 16 of these total, so we really need to actually save some of these for... other locations. Or we need to do... We could do some traps. We could lay some traps. That's actually not a bad idea. Oh, but it requires power. Darn it. Okay. That's something we'll look at a, another time. I think Sanctuary Hills is going to be a bigger long-term project, unfortunately. So, we're okay for beds here. So let's go to Abernathy Farm. And we're going to get Abernathy Farm actually expanding here. See, my goal, I've got a goal. My goal is to get all of our various settlements up and running with lots of people and begin actually 
basically using the salvage stations to start getting lots and lots of people in place. I never realized they were built around the base of one of these uh, big uh, power poles. So that means this place needs power. Oh, no, wait, that's, that's our defenses. I'll put a small Jenny in and uh, get a recruitment beacon in place. There we go. Settlement Recruitment Beacon Online. Let's get a few extra beds in here so that this is ready for the inevitable expansion in population. Let's see if there's enough space upstairs for a few beds. This is actually a pretty crowded one, isn't it? Hmm. Interesting. Actually, a lot of stuff in here that we should just yeah. Okay, those are whoa crap. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's just uh, unselect Molotov cocktails here for a bit. I'm just glad there wasn't anybody here to get uh, blown up by that. All right. Get rid of a few things here. Interesting that you can't get rid of the walls, though. Bottles. Let's see what we can do. All right. All right. I should be able to move these. Well, maybe I can't. We'll just scram, we'll cram an extra bed in the corner here. It's five beds and four people now. Six beds. That's bathroom. Don't really want to put some poor person's bed in there. Let's just put a couple more mattresses down here. That'll do for now. Okay, and then a bit more defense, I think. That's what we determined was necessary here, right? Yeah, 16 food, 16 defense. We need one more turret, and that should... Uh, Discourage all but the worst of the worst as far as attacks go. Now, as for people, we have a fourth person here, which means we can probably squeeze a salvage station on here. I saw somebody who looked new. Oh, I can scrap some of this. No, do not take the door. Where'd our new person go? I wonder if this is something we can assign people to. Clarabelle! Hmm. I don't know where he went. I thought I saw another, a new person here. Alright, so you're assigned to... Matos. Potatoes, or whatever they're called. Um, so are you. That leaves two more people in here, I believe. But where did you guys go? I 
can't imagine why they come up to the roof. There we go. Way out. Although I suppose stranger things have happened. So happiness is a. Ooh, water. We're actually. No, wait. Water is now shared amongst all the settlements. Oh, there he is. Hiding around the back there. You are going to start working as a salvager. Got it. Okay. Onwards. The next one that has serious problems. Abernathy Farm's happy now. Grey Garden. Short on defense speak relative to food. Also, I think Sunshine Tidings Co-op needed attention too, didn't it? So let's go there first. And I believe Sunshine Tidings needed... Uh, well, it's probably going to need beds and... Uh, See, there is one thing I could do. I could actually start removing food production from some of these places. Nope, we're not quite in the borders yet. Come on. There we go. Okay, defense is really low here. And that's because I was really short on materials the last time I was here. So let's... few of those. We'll get one more of these right here at the corner of this building. Hmm. I'd love to be able to scrape up more of this brush. Okay, we've got eight people in ten beds. Which means if we're going to make people happier here, we need a little bit more We're going to need more beds here soon. I wonder what else can make people happy around here. Well, other than a purpose. These people do need a purpose in life. I would love to be able to order people to get rid of these stupid corpses. That would be a useful, a useful job for some people to do, wouldn't it? At least this place has lots of available plates. A lot, lots of available space. All right, that's that. All right, let's have a word with some of these board people and get them going on the all-important job of acquiring salvage. I'd also love to be able to scrap those things. Well, that cabinet's something that can stay. Brahmin. Hmm. Okay. One. Come on. I don't want to block the door. Two. You bored? Sure. Sure. Who else is bored? This is actually a pretty big one. You look bored. You bored? You must be bored. Okay. The job that anybody who's bored can do is the extra scavenging production. Because extra, extra scavenging production gives me more materials to work with to make new things. Sure. Three... The other thing people can be assigned to, of course, is food production. Let's see. Well, that's at least a start. This place is obviously going to need some more attention at some point, but for the moment, we're at least under control. Onwards. Let's just check our data, workshops. Sunshine Tidings, still not happy. I think Sunshine Tidings might have gotten attacked, though. 
we'll keep an eye on that and we'll come back to it. All right, Grey Garden. Hello there, Grey Garden. Let's have a word here. I don't know what gun that is, but that looks that looks like some is that a, a laser minigun? That's what that looks like. That is a laser minigun. Oh my god, that is amazing. Alright, so this Actually, that's the other thing we were talking about was actually getting Starlight Drive-In is a place we should definitely put one of these. I don't know if this is a good spot because it doesn't have really good line of sight. So let's... Let's get a few more of these turrets in place here. Alright, and how are we doing for beds? we got three beds and six people, so we've got to fix that as well. One there. the target. Look at all that blood. Where'd he go? Well, well whatever set that off is gone. You a settler? Just looking to trade a little. Of course. Oh. oh, okay, just a random trader. Hmm, doesn't really have anything I want, so... Where are you guys going? Or are you just finding your way back up here? Our robots are completely confused. Alright. Well, whatever that was, obviously gone. Now then, what we were working on, we were working on defense and beds. Up into our little attic uh, hidey hole here. How many of these we can cram in here? I know, not the ideal living space, but... At this point, we can't be too picky. What I really need to do is... Select that and get it out of the way and make room for another stairway up to the next floor. Get our structures, wood. And we need the prefab with stairs, don't we? I thought there was one of those. Stairs. Let's see what we got here. Or is that what we're using? No, we had shack. Oh, it's shack. Let's see, wood. There we are. Shack stairwell. Whoops. Okay, let's just put that there, that there. Now then, our problem right now is that the stair's not very accessible, right? So let's move this over here, temporarily. Move this over by one. There we go. This can go here. Uh, 
Yeah, that's better. I'm just thinking about the future here. Don't mind me. Walls. Wall there. And maybe a fence-like thing here. Ah, we'll be fine. Good, now we actually have access to the next floor of this place. So we can actually contemplate making more beds later. We got six people, six beds. Can we cram one more in here without incident? I hope so. Because we're inevitably going to get a seventh person in here, and that's just unavoidable. Okay, so now... No, stop, stop. So we go back to data, workshops. Gree Garden is now sufficient on food and defense and everything. So let's go hit Starlight. Because Starlight is a good place. Where are you? Starlight Drive In. That's. Where is Starlight gone? Oh, it's way up here. Actually, Gray Garden has a better shot at. Actually, Oberland. Oberland is where we need a frigging, uh... I guess we might as well get one in Starlight and one in Oberland. We also need to start thinking about fortifying these places, but that's a job for another day. Um, today is just a case of getting everybody a little bit happier, or at least a few of these places a little happier. Now, Starlight is one where we actually need to... Huh? All right, we're outside of the base. Okay. Help. Ain't my fight. Someone do something. Come All right. Out. Where's the problem? Where is it? Well, I hear somebody yelling, and I don't see the source. But I have a sneaking hunch that we need some better defense setups here. Alright, let's start with our all-important. Place it on the roof. We're going to put it up there, and we're going to assign somebody to it. Oh, of course, somebody's turned the radio back on. Come on, get me out of here. Ah, crud. Yeah, there was a way around the back here. Excellent. I want the artillery set up so that it's got a pretty solid shot at... Alright, so now we need somebody who's going to be assigned to it. So we need the people who are lo looking bored. You look bored. Congratulations, you're now an artillery specialist. Okay, good. Now this shack we could make a little bigger. Not exactly the prettiest thing I've ever built, that's for sure. Oh wow, there's actually a bed attached to that. That's kind of funny. Wood. Floors. What kind of piece is that? Is that a corner? that right. Alright, it won't actually go right there. There's a wall there. Of course that piece doesn't fit right, right? That goes right there.
There's a half corner wall. Interesting. Well, let's see. I can go there. Get another floor here. There. Floor. Floor. There we go. Put that. Oh, well, there's got to be somewhere this fits. All right, fine. Let's get this wall out of the way. Bet you this attaches right here just fine. There we go. Yeah, shut up, Brahma. There we go. Okay, put another one right here. And a nice thin one right. Really? That's annoying. I don't even know why that won't fit. But let's get some rooftop on here. Maybe just a roof over the head will do for now. Even a partial roof. Alright. Figure out how to squeeze a wall over this hole here in a second. Although it almost looks like... Not even gonna be able to squeeze a floor in there, are we? Nope. I don't know. This uh, corner here is where the problem is. Scrap there. That'll work better. Let's so get rid of it. Square this off. Walls. Much better. There we are. And then roof. And beds. Now we have room for people to live at the Starlight Drive-In. Ten beds. beds. Twelve beds. Okay. So now we're okay for that. We need defenses now. And also, we probably need to work on that outer wall a bit more. Okay, so this needs to get relocated. Give me... No, I want to select it. No, I don't want to move... Okay, fine. I kind of want to move this guard post, but apparently it's a fixed position, so whatever. Okay. Turret up. Turret down. And let's see. That should do for... Starlight Drive-In. 
Happiness. Yeah, see, everything's starting to improve now. Next stop, Overland Station, because it's got a nice striking distance to downtown. At least from one side. And that's also the one that got hit pretty hard by super mutants recently. So that's our last stop for today. We'll get this uh, place secured. I, I remember I was working on it and I ran out of materials the other day. So Oberlin's going to get a secure wall all the way around the outside, as you see here. Yeah, the defenses got destroyed, didn't they? Wood walls. Go right to the far end, I believe that's where... Let's see, I really want something that will snap to the corner of that. 